I just got to the barn and there is a friend in the tree I've ever seen. Really. Just stand for two seconds, please. Okay, we're not cooperating. We have baby brain today, apparently. Don't get too, that's a ditch. The realities of owning horses. Oh, I just heard a noise. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I've mentioned in previous videos that fall is my absolute favorite time to go hacking and that remains the truth. And right now it's early October, early-ish October, and the fall leaves are sort of at their peak. So tonight I'm gonna go out to the barn, we're going to get Merlin ready, I'm gonna put my GoPro on and we're gonna go on a little adventure around the barn. So I just got into my car and all I'm gonna say is that this hack has the potential to be very interesting because although it's warm, it's about 20, 21 degrees my car is saying 20 which for where I live in Canada is quite warm for October it just started to rain and it's a bit windy if it's windy I'm probably better off taking him out on a hack rather than riding in the arena because he's still getting used to the sound of the size of the arena flapping and I just want to have a nice relaxing ride tonight so yeah this could be an interesting video I just got to the barn and there is a friend in the tree. Hi there. That is definitely one of the coolest things I have ever seen, really. I was not expecting to arrive at the barn to see a bear in the tree next to the driveway. Mr. Merlin is seeming fairly chill tonight, which I'm happy about. I have what I think is an okay angle, so let's try it. Bone in pouch, gloves, bridle on pony. You, oh good boy. You are too tall sometimes. <laughs> Can we get this out please? Thanks. You slobber the minute, the minute that I put your bridle on. Stirrups up. Wait, there we go. Okie dokie dude. Let's go on an adventure. You look thrilled. Careful. Good boy. Oh, look at how pretty the sky is. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Yeah, clearly we gotta work on that. Good boy. Alright, come on. Okie dokie folks. You're okay. You're alright. So he seems a little lively tonight. He's currently looking at the mini who's in the corner of the paddock there. So my plan is, is we are going to go in the hay field, which is where he has the most experience hacking. Um, but first thing, while I still have his attention span and he's more game for things, we're going to go out to the back, back, back field, um, which is his grass field. Yeah, you see the mini. He's been there the whole time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way down to the back into this back, back field. We are seeming a little wiggly tonight. Similar with Eve, like you saw in the Introducing Eve video, he was not super keen on going through the mud, even though he has to go through there every single time that he goes back to his field. We were gonna, yeah, I know it's weird. We're gonna go by the entrance to the hay field. My friend was visiting and was kind enough to walk through the mud for me and he followed and last night we went out literally for like 15 minutes at sunset and we did get through the mud which I was very proud of him for. He is feeling a little uncertain, uncertain but not unwilling. I can expect a very green three-year-old to be a little uncertain. Oh there we go, nice deep breath. That's what I like to see. So I don't know if you can even see yet because this is pretty wide angle but there is some mud yesterday he did take a little bit of encouragement to go through so we're gonna walk up at it with 
confidence and gusto. Let's see if we. Come on, dude. Okay, we turn back. It's okay. And I'm gonna have no. Good boy. I'm just gonna let him stand. Good boy. Yes. Okay, folks, so he is not playing ball tonight. Even though he went through perfectly fine last night, he's not wanting to go through. So we're just gonna go in the field and have a little mooch around. He's not like spooky or anything. He's just not wanting to go through. And I will be completely honest that my, my current self, who is very all about letting the horse have a voice and all this stuff, when I was trying to get him through, was kind of in conflict with my previous self, who would have just been kick, 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 go, 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 and not taking no for an answer, but he really, like he was saying no, a hard no. So we're gonna go in here. The sunset is very, very beautiful. We'll probably have a little trot, maybe even a little canter because he is so chill tonight, as you can see. He is like, he's listening to my leg very well. He's not being quote unquote bad. He just did not want to go through the mud. Last night, I'm wondering, we did have one of the barn dogs with us. And I'm thinking that maybe because she went through first on the weekend when he went through the mud, my best friend was with us and she went through first. And last night the dog went through first. So I'm wondering if it was, he went through because he had someone to follow. So I should have said today is October 7th and it's shortly after six o'clock PM. And this is where we're at for light. It's dark now by, oh, 7.30, which is depressing, but it means that for the next few weeks, I do get to have pretty sunset rides on my pony. And actually this is the furthest up that we've ventured in the field. So it's still about building confidence and all that fun stuff. I am making sure to keep a hand, I don't even know if you can see a hand on my buck strap just because there is a stream that runs along here. Some critters have been known to hop out, not bears, but some critters have been known to hop out. Good lad, yes. You're a very good boy. So he's currently not doing very much arena work at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. For the next little while, I'm probably gonna focus mainly on hacking as much as I can because he's only three and getting him out the sort of exposure of hacking out is really good and he's still going to be like tonight for example is probably going to be a working hack it would have been nicer to get closer Merlin yes just stand for two seconds please okay we're not cooperating we have baby brain today apparently don't get too that's a ditch don't get too close please thank you all right are we going to do some trotting you gonna do some trotting? You're gonna keep things nice and chill, nice and slow. Easy. I know it's a little pile of hay that you look at every time you go by. And trotting along these trees for him is a scary thing because there does tend to be birds and stuff that'll jump out. Easy. <laughs> You're funny. Good boy. I'm gonna trot all the way to his friends. And good boy. So that's probably the longest stretch of trot that he's done, which is cool. Nice deep breath, so he's relaxed and he comes right back to me, which is awesome. Oh, motorcycle. Something I will say, which I've probably said in previous videos, is that being so close to the highway and near, there's a road that runs there that can be also quite loud. And there's like a training airport nearby. There'll be a lot of low flying airplanes and helicopters and things like that. They definitely get very used to noise this is definitely the furthest up we've been together god how pretty is this you go down in here both hands firmly on tack the first little hill good good boy easy easy good lad good lad 
Good boy. Oh, so the path did stay not too shabby. Yeah, it's a little rock. Good boy. And we're gonna go up. Yes. Yes. Good dude. Careful. Oh, brave boy. Brave boy. So brave. So beautiful. Good boy. Actually, why don't we try into the sunset? Huh? How's that sound? Okay, we're going sideways. That's not quite what I was hoping for. I did come out tonight right into the sunset. Are we gonna go up? Huh? You've been up on this before. Good bad. So we go down this way. Good boy. Good job. This is so good for him because it teaches him like proprioception and how to use his feet. So I'm completely giving him his head to pick his way. Good. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. You ready? Trotting. And he's definitely more game going towards home, which is something I have to just have to be brave about. Good boy. I know you're excited. You're excited. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Hey, hey. Hey, listen, listen, Merlin, Merlin, good boy, now easy, we are going sideways, good boy, I know it's very hard, and whoa. good boy, good boy. No, 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 not sideways. Are we pooping or what? Because you're being very... Ready? Good boy. Hey. What are you doing? Listen, monkey. Come on. Easy. Steady. If spring is the season Steady. that wakes me alive, then fall is the season to contemplate life. Oh. Exactly in this time of year that makes the melancholy me reappear. Oh, back and forth through dark roast coffee, salt mist and sea, sand and amber trees. Cause it still feels like summer, but it's soaked in nostalgia. So all the leaves are turning. It's 
say goodbye to summer. I keep on forgetting, times learn how to fly, and before I know it, it passes me by. Oh. It was just absolutely epic. That was the most fun I've had, like on a ride in a long time. Like just out exploring. I wanted to go back into like the backpack field, but he just didn't want to go, so I didn't force him. It's another time where old me was battling against new me, but new me won out. Thank goodness. He is game to explore because we went into that little copse of trees, and he was super game. At one point, he did like not want to go forward after our first canter. He was super keen to go towards home and towards his friends. So I think he was just, it was about 25 minutes into the hack. Like that was probably the longest we've been out consistent and definitely like the hardest he's worked in a hack. And the grass is quite tall and it's hard for him. And as you can see, he's looking tired. This is what I call the Pony Scratcher 3000. Observe. <laughs> Try to get a different angle of that. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are too funny. This side too? Yeah. Pro tip, if you're doing clicker training with young horses and you don't necessarily want to do, like use food, get yourself a pair of these hands-on grooming gloves. They are an absolute godsend. They're also just generally great for like, Post ride, getting the saddle marks off and stuff. Post ride, I have a couple of stretches that we do. We stretch out his legs. And this is something he, hi buddy, oh. Just as far as he wants to go, good oh boy. I'm just holding it, like I'm not pulling on it. Stretch. There we go, good boy. And then we do our carrot stretches, which he is very familiar with. Good boy. I try to get him to hold it for a few seconds. He finds this way harder than the other way. A little bit further. Good. <laughs> you know what's next, don't you? Down. So the days where videos filmed at night and in a very brightly lit barn have returned because it is now pitch black. I'm gonna end this here because I have a few things I have left to do. Someone has thrush again and mud fever. So we're going to treat that and then get him outside. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on an autumn adventure with me and this dude. If you wanna see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below what your favorite season of the year is. Mine is definitely fall. As much as I love summer, it's super, super hot. Fall has beautiful weather, generally, and gorgeous, gorgeous views. But yeah, so until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give your pony a hug or a kiss the next time you see them. And we will see you very soon. Bye. Quality on this is going to be atrocious, but this is what turning Merlin out after that hack looks like. Super, super fun thing is, is that I now have to go all the way out back to the hay field and close it up in the dark. Just for reference, this is what it looks like without any phone flashlight. You can imagine how fun it is to walk all the way out back here in the dark to catch him. Normally they're at the back, back, back of their back field and you call their names and you have six sets of hooves galloping towards you. This is the gate that we need to close. I am very recognizant of the fact that earlier there was a bear in the driveway and it's now dark. Just wanted to show a little bit of the realities, literally holding my phone flashlight. The realities of owning horses. Oh, I just heard a noise. <laughs> realities of owning horses in the fall and winter. <laughs> I heard something in the field. Ah. You guys want to see a face to fill your nightmares? What bang! Hi. Are you guys gonna go out in the field? No? All right. Well, say bye, Merlin. This has been an adventure. Bye. Okay, now is the real ending of the video. Bye bye, folks.